I respect the dignity of all people, but this is not a dignified presentation. And I'm sorry to hurt your feelings, but my we feelings need are not moral hurt. conviction. My feelings are not hurt. They're turning a little red. You can use a little concealer. Okay. But, Nick, listen. I, I delivered. Somebody said, go talk to Nick Quentin. And what I wanted to do was talk to you and say, look, we have hey, maybe to. Maybe you want to turn the light off. Maybe oh, you want the time to the anyway, you guys, listen. Free speech. Nick Quintus is right here. He's basically the opposite Lady of Lady Maga me. is cooler than no, Nick no, Quintus. No, no, no. Nick Quintus. What? I, is that you know what? True? I have watched his videos. I think he is correct on a lot of issues. And what I think is important is in America, I feel like you believe that our government should have religious principles come first. Really? So you don't believe in the separation of church and state? I think there should be a pretty strong integration. Okay, well think, that's honest. Yeah, that's honest. Be that's honest. Well, you, what you should do, what you should do, is you should drop the, you know, drop the radical part. Just drop the whole LGBT part. You should drop the drag stuff. Drop the homosexuality. You should find a woman, and as a man, you should marry her. So you and think you should live you a think, normative, virtuous society? Do you think a woman deserves to marry a man who is not romantically and physically attracted to her? I oh, try to. If make, that's the case, then you can listen. Uh, let me tell you. Woman. Listen, I grew up Mormon. I went on a two-year Mormon mission to France. That's problematic. Isn't it? Well, <laughs> I came back from that mission. And I went to conversion therapy to try to become straight. And I was dating a woman. And her father left her family because he was gay. And I said to myself, that is unethical. That is wrong to try and convince her to marry me when I'm not physically romantic. Two wrongs don't make a right. So, I mean, well, the answer to not being attracted to him is not to uh, deviate well, and rebel against God well, and natural order. So, it's to just be right. well, God, normal, God, God is God is bigger than our earthly situation. He understands what the hell is going on. He'll work it out. But here's here's what I have to say, Nick. I commend your free speech. I do not think you should be deplatformed. And my and my belief is that in America there is room for your voice. And there is room for my voice, and I really think, I really believe, I'm an Eagle Scout, okay, and Scouts is ruined. Scouts on. Scouts on, they're for real. <laughs> I believe we have more in common than we don't. And by dressing up like this as a Trump supporting drag queen, it's my way of giving a middle finger to the radical LGBT cult that is pushing transgenderism on my nieces and nephews in school. Does that make any sense? I just don't understand how you could see transgenderism being pushed on children and the antidote to that is for you to do this right. No. I think it's a middle finger to God. It's not a middle finger to no. That's a job. It's a middle finger to God, this? Jesus Christ, Christians, no. family. No, God loves children. me. Jesus Dude, do you loves think children me. should see this display? Um, you know what, Nick? Do you were, think children should see this? Listen, do you think that's out am I in a library reading transgender no, stories no, to children? No, no, but I'm asking you, do you, think that's, but do you think children should see this? If a child were around me right now, and their parents were like, hey, we want a picture with you, I would take a picture. I, however, have no desire to push myself on anybody's views or, or counteract their religious faith. So that is why I oppose Drag Queen Story Hour, because they are militantly and aggressively pushing it into public space, pushing it to the But you'll also notice that my aesthetic is Barbie, Dolly Parton, and Shirley. I'm not out here trying to I, yeah, no. I'm not out here trying to sexualize the I'm out here trying to say that America stands for free speech. And the gays need to join the conservative movement. The common sense day. They gotta stay out. No, no, no. America stands for Jesus Christ, and it stands that for is order not correct. and family. Thomas Jefferson would disagree with you. I, I don't think that's the case. The, the words Jesus Christ are nowhere in our founding documents. I think documents. the founding fathers looked into a crystal ball, and they saw this display. They would have changed their mind. They would be rolling in their graves. We're about to get kicked out. Let's end. All right. God bless you, Nick Fuentes. I don't think you're a bad guy. Okay. I think you're a good guy. He's a hater. Take care. No, he's not. He's a good guy. He's a hater. I want to finish my talk. You're a hater. Okay. I really want to finish my talk. I don't want to get kicked out. Um, is it okay if I